It has been more than a year now since at least six people died and several were hospitalized from fentanyl in just a few days in Kalamazoo County. Now, federal prosecutors have filed charges against a man for one of those deaths. News 8's Byron Tollefson in studio tonight with a closer look at the growing problem of fentanyl overdoses. Byron. Brian, it's an epidemic with many people taking the opioid without even knowing it. A crisis of lives lost just hours apart. Between April 12th and April 13th last year in Kalamazoo County, at least six people died and 10 people were hospitalized. The Kalamazoo County Health Department said all of the deaths were caused by cocaine laced with fentanyl. People who are dying from fentanyl don't even realize often that they have taken this lethal substance. It's fair to say that using drugs today is a game of Russian roulette. Kalamazoo's police chief remembers heartbroken families showing up to the police department demanding answers. It was a heartbreaking scene out there that I will never forget. Now a step toward justice. Federal prosecutors are charging James Smith, otherwise known as Yola, in one of the deaths, a victim referred to as DM in court documents. Prosecutors say Smith distributed fentanyl and cocaine between April 2022 and February 2024. He could face up to life in prison. Prosecutors have also charged an alleged accomplice, Patrick Martin, for using a cell phone to distribute the drugs that caused DM's death. The most striking feature of the illegal drug landscape today is the sheer number of people who are dying. Nearly 108,000 people died nationwide from drug overdoses last year. Nearly 3,000 of those were in Michigan, and almost 75% of those lives were lost to fentanyl. Americans today are experiencing the most devastating drug crisis in our nation, and this is because of one drug, fentanyl. The Drug Enforcement Administration says it is now the leading cause of death between those aged 18 to 45. Fentanyl is exceptionally cheap to make, it's easy to disguise, and deadly to those who take it. Authorities encourage parents to talk to their kids about the dangers because fentanyl can be hidden in many pills. It's all of us, right? I talk to random people about fentanyl and the dangers of fentanyl. My seven-year-old daughter, God bless her, she's sick of it at this point. Um, but that's what it takes. And if you're struggling with addiction, there are many people who can help you. We know that we are never going to prosecute our way out of this crisis. Addressing it, solving it, demands an all-hands-on-deck approach that includes medical professionals, mental health providers, friends and loved ones, we have a list of some of those resources on our website, woodtv.com. It's important to note that prosecutors are only charging these suspects for one of the deaths, but this remains an open investigation, and officials did not rule out more charges in the other five drug deaths. If you know anything, please contact the Kalamazoo Department of Public Safety.